Colossians chapter 4 Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly. Realizing that you too have a master in heaven. Prayer and Apostolic Spirit Persevere in prayer. Being watchful in it with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us, too. That God may open a door to us for the word to speak of the mystery of Christ, for which I am in prison, that I may make it clear, as I must speak. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you know how you should respond to each one. Conclusion Tychicus and one's Imus. Tychicus, my beloved brother, trustworthy minister, and fellow slave in the Lord, will tell you all the news of me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, so that you may know about us, and that he may encourage your hearts, together with one's Imus, a trustworthy and beloved brother who is one of you. They will tell you about everything here. From Paul's co-workers. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, sends you greetings. As does Mark the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, receive him. And Jesus, who is called Justice who are of the circumcision. These alone are my co-workers for the kingdom of God. And they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras sends you greetings. He is one of you, a slave of Christ Jesus. Always striving for you in his prayers. So that you may be perfect and fully assured. In all the will of God. For I can testify that he works very hard for you. And for those in Laodicea and those in Hierapolis. Luke the beloved physician sends greetings. As does Demas. A message for the Laodiceans. Give greetings to the brothers in. Laodicea and to Nympha. And to the church in her house. And when this letter is read before you. Have it read also in the church of the Laodiceans. And you yourselves read the one from Laodicea. And tell Archippus. See that you fulfill the ministry. That you received in the Lord. The greeting is in my own hand. Pauls. Remember my chains. Grace be with you.